Hello. Friends say that children are angels sent to us from heaven, because their hearts are so pure and selfless that very often we can learn a couple of lessons from them on how to become better. Well, and their simple innocent deeds and affectionate words can melt any heart of stone at all. But, unfortunately, it happens that some angels leave us too early. This is what our story will be about. A woman named Ruth said she didn't know how difficult it would be to look at the bathroom rug. Many will think, well, what may be unusual in this, but for Ruth this carpet personifies love for her son, apparently, Caressed could not remain without his mother, since he had soft tissue cancer. So when mom was taking a shower, he was lying on this very rug it all started with the usual stuffy nose, which few people pay attention to. At first, the boy just sniffed, but in the end it turned out to be a sign of a terrible diagnosis. One night, he became ill, and his parents took him to the hospital, where he was soon prescribed antibiotics, a saline spray and a moisturizer. But this did not help, and after a while the adenoids were sadly swollen, after which he underwent an operation and removed the tonsils, it would seem that all the problems are gone. But when doctors tested adenoid tissue in the boy, the results were disastrous. It turned out that it was necessary to identify rhabdomyosarcoma. His sarcoma is soft tissue cancer and had to start urgently on a course of treatment months of radiation therapy, chemotherapy and painful treatments worked worse. But the moon, after all, he began to slowly recover, and his parents saw a ray of hope and even created a Facebook page for him to document his journey and inspire other children such as himself, every post, every photo in which he is entangled in tubes and surrounded medical equipment, had one thing in common, a warm smile. Nona, shining eyes full of faith and hope and his unshakable will. However, this did not last long. After all, after the next examination, the oncologist discovered that the cancer not only did not recede, but also reached the point of no return, after which the doctors told the parents that they should inform their little angel about it. When Ruth asked well if she was in pain, he replied that he was really in pain, but he would continue to fight for her sake, her mouth heard her heart break into pieces, and she quietly muttered sweetheart. I can't take your pain away anymore. The only way to relieve her in heaven, but the answer, but the moon made my mother cry. Okay mommy, I'll go to heaven and play there until you and daddy join me, the boy replied. Unshakably, accepting the news of their imminent death, all those who knew, but okay who knew his story, prayed for the boy, but it was already too late. The 4th of February, 2017, came the very day when the boy was ready to leave this world and go to heaven. I think it is unnecessary to say that no parent can prepare and tune into this. After all, it is very painful and difficult to let go of your own child. The medical staff began to consider the most appropriate option in order to complete the chemotherapy. The family already wanted to take the child home to be together. The last days, when suddenly Newland took mom by the hand and said quietly to mom. Everything. Okay. Let's stay here I'm not scared. For the next few hours, the pond did not leave Nurlin, and when she asked her boy for a minute and asked if she could take a shower and if he would last a few minutes without her. He nodded back to her. And when the woman got out of the shower, she was told that the child's oxygen level dropped sharply, and he fell into a coma, her mouth could not believe what. Well, he left without saying goodbye to her and lay down next to his son. This continued for several minutes, after which a small miracle happened. The device again showed activity and the boy woke up and, as it turned out later, in order to say only four words. He smiled, opened his eyes and said I love you, mommy, after which his eyes closed forever. These were the last words of a strong little boy who fought with dignity, a little angel with a big heart. He will always be remembered not only by his parents, but also by those who witnessed his journey. Later, my mother wrote on Facebook I am one of those who are afraid to take a shower. Now the rug, on which my son was waiting for me, will always be empty. It is difficult to convey in words what a mother is experiencing, who has lost her son, but his smile and last words will forever remain in my memory and will warm my soul until we meet again in heaven. Friends, just take care of yourself and your loved ones. See you soon and bye.